Just Blaze Fire, England crew. What go on? Shout out to everybody from England over there. You know the thing go shrepsy, shrepsy. Bad gang in the building. We are going to have a very serious conversation right now. Very, very serious conversation we are going to have right now. See, so if you want to share the live, share the live and get everybody involved. And Claude, Star Chef, today our Wednesday and a year time, it Claude, a weekend around the town. Um, we have a couple of things that we are going to talk about. And some people not gonna like me after me say what me I say, and some people are gonna understand and make adjustments, and some people are gonna listen and know say me not talk no foolishness. You understand? I'm gonna go to come live, I talk foolishness. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, share up the live and thing. Um, we have a reason for some topics so we have to do with entertainment, right? Can we just come up on my phone? Um, we have like five, six different conversations from morning, and the five, six different conversations about the same thing. Same problem, the five, six promoter them have. So, you know, I am from the people, for the people. Kaputa Hype was made a superstar by the people. You understand? So, I am from the people, for the people. See, me not better than the people. Me a star, but that does not make me better than the people. If you understand what I'm saying. See, I say, like, big up yourself, big up Shaggy, big up the whole team, the whole bombastic team, you know it go. See? So, what I say is, we have a serious problem in our music business, and I believe is ego, I curse it, and it is very crippling to our industry. And we have a reason for it right now. Now, I have a reason a while ago with. What I say about five to six different promoters, right? Meaning promoter where play a major role in the Caribbean atmosphere of music. Cause you know who really book Jamaican or Caribbean promoter or Yankee promoter with Jamaican or Caribbean affiliation. So they know the music, know the arts, them know the vibe, know everything. So sometimes even when you see a Jamaican on a Yankee show, it's a Jamaican connected Yankee person where you keep a big show. See? Now, the same problem with all the six promoters them have is that the artists them are overcharged. The artists them are kill the music by overcharging. See? What do you, you have a big promoter boy and him, woman, hybrid events. Um, is somebody who may look up to in a promotion and have much respect for car. He's not really a popular person. You know most time promoters are popular people. He is not really a popular person, but a decades he may do it and he may want a leading promoter them in a, in a, in a Florida to me. I him keep runway, I him keep rise and toast, I him keep holy for something. Big fat fish, well if has different show him keep. Big big promoter. Also one of the one of the who one of them for Club Euro. See so me see him put up what they say um him out for stop promotion and him gonna try the artist because to all the artists they might charge ridiculous. Well there's levels to this thing eh? And every artist now got charge the same money because you have regular artists, you have other artists, you have top tier artists, and you have legend. See? 
But he will validate the money now. If you have pulled the crowd. You understand what validates the money is if you are pulling the crowd. Now the problem with the six promoters that when I talk to from morning have is that. The artists them have pushed them big money and now pull the crowd. You're not selling the tickets. Now over the years the booking change. Because one time an artist would have just take a booking and book based on what he want and not worry about capacity and thing. Now the business evolve where when you call an artist now, he may ask how much are the capacity. Nothing no wrong with that because so, I saw the rap star them used to do it and everybody. And it make you make more money based on the capacity of the crowd because you know how much you charge. Where you ask capacity for if you can't fully place? This is where the problem they know now. If you can ram the place, nothing no wrong. If you check the capacity. But if somebody want to put you in an avenue with well, 5,000 people and you can't sell 2,000 tickets, how oh, it makes sense? You can't charge the money based on the capacity because you can't ram the venue. The promoter have to do whatever they have to do now to try to ram the venue. So, what the six promoter they must say? They must say, that's why now them lean towards the hip hop artists them and the calypso artists them. You understand what I say? AC too loud, alright, I'm telling you. Them say no. That's why coming on me is for the culture, you know. Me seriously for the culture. Zin, so them I said that's why them lean to the hip hop artists now and some calypso artists. Because what one of them I explained to me, say, when them use certain hip hop artists who are charged the same money where the dancehall artists want, them now have to guess our spell if them can charge $60 the gate pre sold, six dollar pre sold. Plus, they must sell VIP for two fifty three hundred dollar. Plus, Cabana, plus them thing, and the place are ram out, and they must make their money from pre-sold tickets already. Now, when the Jamaican artist charge the same money, what the rapper charge, and want one million ticket, one million hotel room, one million podium. Them can't go pay the artist, them can't book the room and pay for the plane ticket, them out of pre sold kind of ticket now sell. So, they must say them not a problem if the Jamaican artist are charging money, but the result in ticket sales are fair forward. So, they must say basically to me, they must ask me if you address it because it's obvious. Say, who in the artist them is and I tell the artist them whatever now I say the right thing because it a cripple not only the artist but it a cripple the industry too because now we are seeing more Caribbean events with hip hop artists and calypso artists as opposed to Jamaican artists and a Jamaican show them But the price too ridiculous. The the itinerary too ridiculous. Remember you now, and a one and a two time and a three time the people them come to me and I say, yo, I'm not busy. The artists hate me. Them not like me. Me allow it. But when me reason with them and understand where them are forward from, it needs to be addressed. Cause the artists them now understand say. You are not selling the tickets them. Some artists they don't understand. Say when you have when you have a Barry Simon for a show, like say best of the best one right now. 
You have Barissa, man. You have Vegas. You have Baby Sham. You have, I think, Patrick, Patrice Roberts. It's a whole host of artists come together plus the status of the show. We make the show ram. It's not you plan the show, make the show ram. So when you have like, when you have like a best of the best, and you go up on a best of the best and go on good, you can't just fling your price through the roof now because you do best of the best because I know you ram best of the best. Best of the best I got ram if I select a loan upon it to over the years where they do them thing. Some person got ram if I, if I select a loan upon it. Sting I got ram if I pay a clash artist and loan upon it. Them show they registered already. When you depend on a show now, by yourself, like an Amazon where you don't have, alright, we have Joe John Cran concert and the ticket them sell off. You know you have pull crowd in that area there. You can charge money in that area there because you sold out Amazon by yourself. You understand? Um, somebody named Chief of Stash. Chief of Staff. Since when Calypso artists start sell more tickets than dancehall artists? Since the new group of artists from Jamaica. I yesterday I talked to somebody about that day for yesterday. When Beanie Man, Bunty Killer, Caperton, Elephant Man, Sisla Kalanji them are run this thing here. Calypso so artists of work and disappear. Them key are closed, no show over Bunty or Beanie or Caperton or Shabba or none of the man them. You are mad? When? I could, me could go back in our history. As since when Calypso artists start take over this thing here. Since the modern day youth them we can perform. We now deliver. We now entertain. We only believe say because them jeans of a two thousand dollar and them bottom of show them at. And it now showing the result of the performance. And when Bunty and Beanie and Caput and them did a run that something yeah? Lady Saw and Spice, because we not left out nobody, when them had dominate the thing, no matter how Marshall Montana at, him have to work before Beanie them or work with Beanie them. When Bungie Garland at, and I must the place, him have to work before Bunty and Beanie and Elephant them or work with them, and I no question about it. No summer jam, no and the reggae tip, no, no best of the best, no them can work after no Jamaican artist. Just, just think about, let's start the truth. So this thing here deteriorate because of the man them ego. And the ego is why them are overpriced themselves. Now, when you know me already, may I got to talk my mind. I got to say what my office said, and I got to say what I got to say now, and it might cause a problem, right? But I have no bad intent when I say this. See? I have no bad vibe, no bad intent. That's only a, that's only a blind man. No, I'm going to move back here. I mean, I like how the sun are blind me. Right, the sun. So, what may I say now, people? I want to know if you overstand. I may go, may go call to manager name where the people then beg me to talk to. This is not me, and this is not me trying to downplay nobody or hurt nobody or try. Go on like me, style nobody. I swear, this is BS power. Wait. So everyone go to the sun and find me. Bumbo cloud. Got to deal with me different. Well, I'm going to turn the floor. Yeah. You want to see me look better now? Well, you say no more dub for me? I don't really clash on them something there, so, you know? It don't really matter. I like dub plate, but... Men are dependent on double. See? Yeah. 
Yeah, so um the promoter them beg me and ask me, say, please put up. Why you talk to Sharon Burke for me and talk to Ramesh for me? People. You know them you know Ramesh them that too like me already. But I don't like me I beat them. Today is not a beaten day. You understand? Them don't like me for whatever reason and most people in them camp don't really like me. Because probably me chat too much, you know? But I just do this and be after the promoter they call me. See? Them say them I beg me shout out to Ramesh and shout out to um Sharon Burke. See? Them say them I ask Miss Sharon Burke and Mr. Ramesh to understand how difficult it is when them I work with the Jamaican artists in a certain area to promote and build them. Although the artists them at the Jamaican diaspora, certain areas, them have to go extra hard for promotion and radio and all these things to make the show work. See? So they might ask me. Remember now. Then say a whole heap of artists that do this overpricing thing. But they must say because Ramesh and Sharon Burke control more than one artist where them where they want to work with. See it's not it's not a, a cussing thing or a degrading thing. It's just them ask me because they know when me talk people are going to hear. So they must say them two entities they control a portion of artists and selector. What they have to work with, you understand? Me not going to lie. I'm not going to be honest with you. Know, what do you you get him visa and a promoter link me and say I want to work with him. And I tell him, say, here we are going. Other man there book for me now. After I give him the number, and him call, and the youth say, other man there book for him, him say, nobody wanted the show. I knew him I got here some ridiculous price, and him not depend on that because the ticket them are for sell. You understand what I say? So, me just say, and be here for the promoter them are foreign, them are bad, and them see a vision where happen, where probably the artists don't see. Zim? They must say it's gonna take a toll from the Jamaican music industry because them have a drip to the hip hop artists. We are charged the same money as the Jamaican artists, but I sell the ticket them and I sell out the venue. The, one of the promoters said he can guarantee if he use one of the little hip hop artists, them we are charged the same money. Zim, when him go so bam and put up him show. Priest will ticket, see Priest will ticket alone and make him back in money. Plus, him not sell cabana yet, and him not um, him not him not him not him not sell VIP yet. Just regular ticket, make him back in money. And we have to understand them something there. See we have to understand that something there. So the artist them. Please, please, like, we have to, you know, we have to think about the longevity of the culture. See? And not because you have a hot song means uh, everybody want to come buy a ticket. So you have to charge this ridiculous money. Some of them and them not in the catalog, they have a song. Some of them and them have one or two songs. You cannot perform for an hour. You cannot perform for 45 minutes. Some of them and them people they've known in a certain state. Some man have some song where at the Jamaican diaspora, but if you put up them picture and say, Who is this artist? Nobody no know. But when they sing them song, yes, we know the song. You understand what I say? No, me can't tell you how much me think is a good fee because every artist have different. That's what I'm telling you, you have top tier, you have regular artists, you have artists where have catalog, you have artists who have a slower, it's a different, different tier artist. So me, 
personally can't tell the artist how much to charge. That is out of my business. You come like selecting and the way that we charge you see your money. You understand? But we can't see DJ Kelly that charge 100,000 US. And say, all right, make a charge 100,000 US too. When me can't pull um, Miami Heat Stadium, but Kelly can't pull it. it. It's just the reality you have to, you have to, you have to think. And certain state, you have to charge less money because them no know you up there, them no know some some state they even know dance all good. You understand? Some state they even know dance all good. Some of the artists them think because them at a Miami or them at a New York or Canada or call them that doesn't speak the same volume for a Kansas City or a Carolina or it doesn't speak the same volume because them not into the music so like oh New York and Miami and Canada and some place into it. You understand what I mean, say? If you get a call for Hawaii you now and you now have no kettle again, the promoter they actually help expand you over the region there. Because you don't really know over the region there, brother. A lot of these art artists now, if you put up them picture upon a regular flyer and go and club door and say, other artists say me I bring somebody say who is that? You have to go sing them song to somebody say, Oh yeah, 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 I heard that song on a mixtape. I heard that song before. So the price now go with with your status. You understand what I mean? So the promoter them a ball. And I mean them a ball too. Sometimes you don't want to involve in an artist business, you know. Can I be a this them this me and say me chat too much and I have pussy and I have this and I have that. I can't even get dub plates. Seems like when you hear somebody jump up and say, No dub plates here for you. Actually, I can't get no dub plates. That's why them new artists say, I try to link everybody to get dub plates from them. And I'll be a styling. They don't want my money. They don't want them just don't want to sing for me. But they feel like I chat too much. But if they really and truly listen to me and hear when I say, Call me at the ears of the street, enough time the people them have complained. I mean, them ball too, you know. And some of the things that me ignore me about the light, me love it, me not say nothing. You understand what I say? So what I'm saying is the management have to sometimes explain to the artist, Zine, that I know every region we can charge the same money and certain promoters in the Caribbean diaspora help to keep you up as an artist. You understand what I say? If you're not going to work, alright, like, chow, I don't want to get into that, because some artists are going to eat me. Like, <sighs> foot of, hold them out, no foot of, please, hold them out, hold them out, hold them out. Yeah, as I may say, see, the promoter, they my ball. You now, if you have certain promoter, we we'll keep certain level of show. We we'll will help expand the dancehall industry and expand the Caribbean thing. And them now, I go feel like say, it not makes sense them book a Jamaican artist. See, it better them book a Calypso artist or a hip hop artist. How that help we? How that help we? It not help we? It actually hurt to business. It actually hurt to business. And that's why them reach out to me because the promoter them feel bad too, you know. You think them want to book Patrice Roberts or Alison Hines over a Jamaican artist, no. You think they more on book? When they feel your foreigner, when next one is a little dirt, or that baby, or little baby over a Jamaican artist, no. But the results are work for them better. But the Jamaican artist want to charge the same money where the rapper charge, but nah, sell the ticket. How that work? Oh, that work. Then when them go up on the show, them can't get bigger forward than the Calypso artists or the hip-hop artists. Oh, that work. When Bunty and Beanie and Sham them and, and Capitan them and Sizzler them and run this. Right now, this is going to hurt some feelings. This is going to hurt some feelings. But it is the truth. 
Some of them are just say we have access them big money up. Huh? If you allow it, Dexter Dubs have the right to ask the big money. Dexter Dubs have the right to ask for big money. Dexter Dubs have the right to ask for big money. Dexter Dubs a sell out venue everywhere in putting foot. And not only a sell out the venue, when he perform in damage place. So he's not only selling the ticket, Dexter do. Dexter a deliver from performance when he work. We have to just be realistic in that. We have to be realistic. Dexter Dabs is the epiphany of the nowadays artist them we are work. Dexter is the is the top mark. Ding dang, top mark. Ding dang, a ram venue and a perform good. Dexter Dabs and Ding dang. Spice and a, and a nowadays artist. Spice are a legend. So not sure what Spice in this. What I'm saying is, not talk about popcorn non America visa. We're not talk about popcorn. We're talking about the man that come to America. And the man that they're American, I charge a bag of money. And the promoter, they wonder what, what's wrong with them. I am just, I just have to be honest, you know. I just have to be real. And when the promoter, they talk to me today, I understand exactly, exactly. What they must say is like them say the artists them I push them against a wall where they have to just turn away from dance hall shows and they don't want to do that. You understand? Them don't want to do that. Them want to maintain the culture, them want to maintain the amount of dance hall show where I keep. The promoter them say the money ridiculous and the ticket them not selling. The artists, them are charged too much money and them now sell the ticket them and them cannot perform. So it a cost the promoter them for running a bankruptcy and want to leave the dance hall show them alone at hip hop. <laughs> they are a choke. A serious thing we are telling the people. I know me get up and say this now. I know me get up and say this now. I the promoter them I call me for money. I said, Futter, we need to address this for we. It a get out of hand. Remember, I said, I see old men about a month and a half ago. Put it up and I understand him. I said, But I said, I want, I want artists want to clap old men with a price. But when I check it out, everywhere it happen. That's old men. I say, I'm out for done with promotion and got an artist. Car, the money where the artists them are charged, insane. And women are one of the biggest promoter boy. Yeah. And the people don't know women, they don't know him. Me I say women them don't know who me attack. In promotion name, hybrid events. Zin, I want a biggest promoter boy. Yeah. When me keep my party at Florida, 2006, 2007. Jonas King did partner with them, but me never know him. Me never know a woman. Cause them time they live in Jamaica, me just come a foreign, do me and go back to my yard. So I what the woman I tell me say, remember Jonas King tell me say, remember woman who did this, did this show with you? Know? Come used to keep the biggest birthday party them in Florida, you know. Remember good man. See? Woman been a do it from them time there. From